And how is the Australian audience different from the Japanese audience? Very, very good. So, very, very good. Um, and did you get a chance to see kangaroo and koalas, like what you told me in the interview? No, not yet. I really want to see them, even if they were dead. Of course, it would be better if they were alive. <laughs> so I heard there was a lot of traveling. Yes, we do have to travel a lot, but someone else is doing the driving, so we are quite relaxed. All the people who we are traveling with are very nice, and I feel comfortable with them in the same car. We're having a good time together. Is there anything you find very strange with Australian people and you want to ask them why they do it in a certain way? We don't have kangaroos in Japan, so when I first heard that Australian people eat kangaroos, I was very surprised, though I also want to try some, so I guess I don't think it was that strange at all. Hmm, but they are Australia's symbol, right? The fact that Australians are eating a symbol of their country is kind of funny to me. Alexandra from Brisbane, thanks for your message on the Alchemy website. I'm glad you made a good use of the tickets you won and enjoyed yourself at the Oral Vampire gig. I went to the gig in Melbourne and guess who I bumped into right in front of the stage? Elaine, a super dedicated listener from Sydney and I thought he would be perfect to share with us his oral vampire experience since he went to two gigs in two different cities. So I phoned him earlier this week. My name is Elaine, and I'm a regular listener, and some pop show. I went to both gigs at Oral Vampire. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you must like the duo, the electro pop duo from Japan, Oral Vampire, a lot to travel to, to Melbourne um, to, to watch it again. Yeah. Um, Look, it was quite an experience, and from Sydney, I was I was pretty happy with it. But I knew there was something missing, so I had to go to Melbourne and just check out what what they have to offer at Melbourne. You know, it's really good. And did you find that missing piece you were talking about? Yes, I did. <laughs> Melbourne, the, the venue was much better. Everything, the whole setup, compared to Sydney's one. For Sydney's gig, it was a an all ages event, and there was just. Too many, like, it was like a dress up party, you know? Was too many gothic, uh, ladies, gospel ladies. There was like cosplay, it was like an a anime convention. Quite extraordinary. But down in Melbourne, you know, everyone's turned out for the love of music, and that's what it's all about, you know? And it must be very special for you um, in the Melbourne one because the lead vocalist, Exo Chica, actually will get you. Yeah, that was quite a surprise. I, didn't, I was not expecting that at all, that she'd recognize me straight up, you know, like as soon as she got onto the stage. I love, the whole thing was a highlight, like, how rare is it for Japanese acts to come down to Australia and perform? So, you know, I thought I'd make the most out of it. Everything's on the review, so you guys check it out. Well, I guess this is a little preview to get people onto our forum, which is um, sbs.com.au forward slash alchemy and can just click on the crew page and there's a link that will take you directly to our forum where Alan will be posting up some photos and his essay loan review for us. Thank you very much for your time, Ellen. No, that's cool, no worries. See you guys. Hello, is this Alchemy? Yes, this is Alchemy, and you can leave your song requests and shout outs on our Alchemy voicemail 02 943 